In the last video, we created the click handler event code for the insert button. In this video, we're going to cover over the click handler event for the update button. So just like the insert button, I've already written the code and I'm simply going to paste over what I have at the moment or paste in the code and then go ahead at the moment and pause this video, take a second, write the code up, and then I'll explain what it is I'm doing. The inline comments actually do that already for you, but if you want to listen to what it is I'm defining, go ahead and follow through. Okay, so just like the other ones, we define the current selected index when we have the table selected or the row selected. Then we're going to return the index value of the first column, which is whatever one we have selected, so that ID number of whatever it might be, 5, 25, 30, doesn't matter. Next, we're going to let the program know that we're working with the current selected cell. Uh, you can go ahead and look into this more if you want. Um, you can read only property or read the documentation if you need more of that. Next, we're going to run a try-catch. Again, a try-catch is not required, but it's a good thing when you're manipulating data on a database. So what we do is we call the resident table adapter and then we put a period and then it should populate with the option of what do you want to do? Well, we want to run the update query. And notice that I did differently or what I did differently in this video is I actually just call directly to the first name text box dot text rather than uh, returning it into a dim and then referencing it as a variable. Both ways work in the update button but for the insert I recommend you do it this way so back down to the update so the same thing follows through we do the last name we do the address the city the state combo box the value member and I forgot to point out the reason why I'm doing value member is because I'm changing an abbreviation code if I did the value I believe it's property so if we go dot Yeah, display member, that would give us the full state name, but value member gives me the first column in the state table that I have, which is abbreviations. Next, we have zip code, and then we have the date entered dot value, and we have a little bit different, which is the column value. And that's where if you look at the update it's going to update the current column where column value equals column value and then we have a message box that says update successful if we fail it says update failed and then we simply refresh the data grid view continue in the next video to see how the delete button differs and how the code is written for the event handler